Well, hey guys. So if you watched uh, the video I just put out today, it's um, Stand By Your Manatee. Um, <clears throat> I'm, you know, I was walking around and I told you guys I would, you know, show you some cool houses. Like I really like, you know, alternative um, architecture and building styles and stuff. And I have been seeing some on these, you know, I've been walking in the neighborhoods here in Crystal River, like in the morning. And uh, man, I just came across this one. And I just had to take a little video. Hopefully I'm not like, somebody's not peeking out the window wondering what the heck I'm doing. But look at this. It's like all natural rock. It has those really big eaves, you know, to keep the water off the building, which is so smart. I'm going to do that to my little sauna build on the river. Um, let me come around the other side here. I'll show you the other side. Oh, yeah. And, and I don't know, the, the, uh, the green caulking between the rocks I, I think is interesting. Or maybe they just painted it, but... I just love, I love houses like this. I just, you know, the era of, you know, a couple or a fella, you know, a, a, a talented guy, you know, that's got a lot of energy and, you know, ideas could just come along and, you know, build a home himself. This one, I bet you they built it in the 60s or 70s is my guess. There was a lot of this kind of back to the land, you know, uh, do-it-yourself stuff going on when the boomers were like you know in their 20s and 30s uh, and this that this place kind of feels like that to me look at that I love the how the corners are with rock and then looks like they maybe used stone or uh, what would they call it cinder block you know for this more smooth stuff I'll go around the side see if I can get one more view of it for you this is about the best I can do guys as far I don't want to go on their property even has like a little outbuilding right here that's, you know, the same rock. It's got a, it's got that chimney there. So, pretty cool guys. This place could be turned into a real hobbit living real easy if it isn't already. I'd love to see the inside. What are you doing? What are you rolling in? I bet you it stinks. Good thing you're gonna get a bath soon. Here's another one of those houses, guys. This one isn't, you know, quite as eclectic and, um, you know, what would you call it, like rustic as that last one I just showed you. But, you know, this one's got, it's like half, half of it's brick and half of it's like probably you know what do you call that like cedar shake and it's got this old style metal roof and solar panels it just you know it just screams independence and self-built and unique i love it We've got a classic Ranger 25, I believe. Ranger Tug, awesome. Almost bought one once. And a modern Ranger Tug with a big outboard in the back and the planing hole. So that one will do like 30 to 40 miles an hour. And that one will do about 7 or 10 with a diesel. And use about an eighth of the fuel. And then you've got... The Vagabond.